Robotic heart sleeve supports failing hearts. Harvard researchers have developed a soft robotic sleeve that can replicate normal heart muscle movements in order to support failing hearts. The human heart twists as it beats in a motion similar to the wringing of a towel. In order to mimic this rotational motion, scientists created two sets of silicone robotic sleeves. The first one expands and contracts concentrically, while the second one expands and contracts helically. The device is designed to slide over the heart like a sleeve. When inflated with pressurized air, the sleeve can help to boost the amount of blood being pumped. The device is still at an early stage of development, and longer-term animal studies need to be conducted before it can be used in humans. Here are other robotic inventions used for medical purposes. Bionic reconstruction allows for mind-controlled robotic arms. Three Austrian men with brachial plexus injuries have become the first people in the world to receive a mind-controlled prosthetic arm based on a new technique known as bioreconstruction. Brachial plexus injuries, often a result of trauma from high-speed collisions, disconnect the brain from the hand. Researchers were able to record and use the signal from slight contractions in the muscles when the patients move their shoulder, elbow, and forearm normally to open the bionic hand. To close the bionic hand, researchers transplanted the muscle from the thigh into the forearm to amplify a secondary nerve signal. A combination of these two signals allows the patient to rotate the wrist. Patients undergo cognitive training and training with the prosthetic hand attached to their non-functioning hand before amputating their hand to complete the bionic reconstruction. Researchers plan to apply the technique to patients with the functionless hand or leg caused by different injuries. They are also examining ways to decode muscular signals to achieve more intuitive control of the prosthesis. Human trials on bionic spine to start next year. There may be new hope for people with spinal cord injuries thanks to a device that is being hailed as the holy grail in bionics. Australian scientists are developing a bionic spine that could allow paralyzed patients to move using the power of thought. The device, a stent electrode recording array, or stentrode, is the size of a small paperclip. Once inserted into the jugular vein using a catheter, it is pushed up to a blood vessel in the brain, where it then expands. Electrodes on the stent record electrical activity from the motor cortex, which controls movement and translates it into commands. The commands are sent to a transmitter embedded just below the chest, which then sends them wirelessly to an exoskeleton or a wheelchair, allowing the patient to move. Scientists tested the stent on a sheep for 190 days and are set to do human trials on three paraplegic patients next year. The project was three years in the making and was partially funded by Australia's National Health and Medical Research Council, as well as by the US Army. Exoskeleton to allow paralyzed person to walk at World Cup. A mind-controlled exoskeleton will allow a paralyzed person to walk at the opener of the World Cup. The exoskeleton, part of a project called Walk Again, aims to use technology to overcome paralysis. The system consists of a cap fitted with electrodes, a computer and battery, and sensing legs. Electrodes in the cap pick up brain signals and transfer them to the computer, which converts them into movement. Sensors detect when the foot touches the ground and transmits the signal to an electronic vibrator in the arm, allowing the patient to associate the sensation with walking. Eight people are currently training to demonstrate the technology at the World Cup opener between Brazil and Croatia on June the 12th. The original plan was for one of them to deliver the opening kick.